Hello everyone in this video, let us start using list in uh, Groovy. So list in uh, Groovy is a very important uh, concept and uh, if you know how to use list you can do a lot of things. So it is really, really important that you understand how list work. Now list is nothing but a collection. So basically collection of different items it could be anything it could be a number it could be a list of uh, strings it could be a list of different objects so basically collection of uh, anything you can you can say that and uh, to use uh, a list i will of course uh, show you how to uh, basically define a list and how to basically perform some basic uh, operations on uh, a list now i already have uh, this code in front of me which i will uh, uh, use to explain how list work. Now to define an empty list, you can use something like this, uh, define empty list. I mean, this is of course the name of your uh, variable. And uh, when you use two uh, brackets, uh, it will basically create one empty list. Now to validate whether this list is empty or not, you can use a method called as size. And right now I'm using uh, assert. You can also do print ln or print just to see the output of uh, empty list dot size. Uh, so if I run this particular piece of code, uh, in this particular piece of code, I don't really have any uh, any print statement. So let me run it and let us see what we get. So I'm basically interested in seeing if the list is really empty or not. So right now there is no print statement, but what if I change this to maybe one or maybe 10? So basically I know that uh, this is empty list and the size will be zero, uh, but if it is not equal to zero, then uh, this particular line, this assertion will uh, give us some uh, error. Now, if I run this again, I will be able to take a look at the error on the right hand side here. I'm using IntelliJ by the way, in case you are wondering the, in case you are wondering what is this. So you can see here that the size is zero, but uh, it is not equal to 10 because of course it is not zero is not equal to 10. And uh, this is something that you can do uh, to create or to define an empty list. Now, if you want to define, let us say a list of numbers, so you can do something like this. Uh, list number is equal to one, two, three, four. In this case, if you want to see uh, whether this is really equal to, uh, I mean, the size is of course four, because right now in this particular list, we have four numbers. But if I run this again, and if I take a look at the assertion, the output of the assertion, it will hopefully fail. So you can see here on the right hand side, the assertion has failed. It says that the list is one, two, three, four, the size is four, but it is not equal to five. So uh, you can always use a method called size to uh, basically get an idea about uh, uh, the size or the length of or number of items so maybe whenever you're doing something with the list, it could be a list of uh, items and you want to run a loop or maybe you want to display or find out the total length or total size or total count of number of items, you can do dot size. A simple example, but quite useful. Uh, what if you want to fetch the uh, value of a specific item at a specific location? So when you look at any list, like one, two, three, four in this case, uh, the first location is zero, then one and two and three. Now, if I do something like this, um, get zero, like uh, I want to basically get the uh, value of the item at the first position. So first position is zero. It will return me one. Um, and of course you can uh, just do a print ln quickly to see or you can maybe try to fail the assertion so that it will tell us. Let us fail the assertion. I think that really uh, is more uh, meaningful when you look at the output and when you look at the assertion that failed because it will also give you the output at different steps or uh, different things that evaluate to, let us say in this case, uh, uh, list number evaluates to one, two, three, four, get zero is one and it is not equal to two. Uh, so this is something that you can also do. Uh, you can uh, use get method. You can also use something like this. Uh, instead of get, you can do one or two. So directly, instead of using one, you can use uh, the uh, the number or the index number. 
you, I mean, if you want to find out if, because when you define a list, and this definition is also based on this, uh, uh, I mean, the moment you define a list uh, using a bracket or maybe when you add some values or when you define that this list contains one, two, three, four, it will uh, get a type or basically it will have some type of list and you can actually find out if you do something like this instance of so uh, using this uh, instance of so basically i'm trying to say list number instance of java util list so it, it is basically trying to match the type of uh, this uh, list whether it is indeed a list or not it could be anything it could be uh, um, maybe a date type if you are you working with dates so using this assertion instance of uh, can 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 basically get you the type. Also, you can perform some some search, and this is uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, way of uh, I mean favorite thing in Groovy when you're working with uh, and also in uh, other languages, but especially Java because uh, Groovy and Java has like a lot of similarities. Uh, anything that you can do in Java, you can also do. I think most of it in Groovy, uh, but or, or vice versa. Uh, but if you want to basically search, let us say if you want to find out whether this list contains a number, which is three, for example, or if I try to search for six, let us see what happens. If I run this, I can uh, perform a search on uh, a list. And this assertion is failing because uh, six is not uh there in my list it has to be either one two three or four and so on so uh you can use a contains method uh, uh which is really good and useful it will return either true or false obviously uh, you can add items to the list for example if you do something like this uh list number dot add so basically I, i'm i'm adding one individual item and uh, now the new list will become uh, uh one two three four five i can maybe change it to six and i will run it just to make sure if this is indeed working correctly or not. So, you, <coughs> apologies. So you can see here that uh, uh, assert list number. So list number now has one, two, three, four, and five. So you can always add a number. So this is something that you can now uh, always do with list. Uh, and by the way, if you're working with Groovy in IntelliJ, the good thing is that you can use autocomplete and you can find out all the dif different things that you can uh, uh, do with uh, with a list for example for example if you want to remove or if, or if you want to replace so i mean intellij is there to help you and i think if you are learning a new language especially if you're learning java or groovy uh, especially groovy because we are talking about groovy in this particular video series uh, when you know these basic things when you know how to define a list, when you know how to add items to a list, and when you know how to search and add a number to it, I mean, I, th I think it is really a good start because uh, once you can do these basic things with the help of IntelliJ, you can always uh, build more knowledge on top of it. So let us continue further and let us also take a look at uh, uh, a method called as add all. Now, what if you want to add more than one item? So if I do something like this, like list number, and I, if I do add, because I, I want to maybe add a list of numbers, so I can do something like uh, uh, five, five is already there, but anyways, if I do something like this, what, what do you think will happen? So I'm basically adding a list to the existing list. And if you print this, let us use a print statement now. If you print uh, this uh, list now, it will list, number and if i run this so it won't really add five six and seven as individual items in the list so if you look at this uh, output on top uh, i hope you can see it so this is a one two three four uh five one two three four five and then followed by five six and seven so basically what is happening here is that uh, uh, let me also print one something else so you can see properly. Okay, let me print it again. So I hope you can see now that 
if you are trying to use the same add method and if you add a list to an existing list it will basically uh, add the whole list at this this particular position not really individual items for adding the individual items it will basically be uh, add all so if you do add all then the items will be added individually like uh, one two three four five six and uh, seven so for adding individual items you can use uh, add all so list is of course very important as i uh, mentioned just now in this video i'm talking about list and uh, if you're working with groovy if you're doing some automation with the help of groovy or maybe you're developing some uh, uh, script i'm sure I, I will get i i can guarantee that you cannot really uh, escape uh, working uh, with list lists is an important uh, collection type in uh, groovy uh, there is also a concept of maps and ranges that we will be uh, looking at in future videos so we will continue looking at uh, other collection types especially maps and also range <clears throat> in uh, in a future video but this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much